Hey YouTube, I'm <clears throat> just going to do a follow-up video on uh, the uh, 38 tooth pinion test run that I did at half throttle. Um, that parking lot is definitely rougher on that side, but I also found out, I'll show you, I, uh, I had regular adjustable steering arms like or steering links like you could you know like we get from Amazon or whatever and uh, they're all aluminum I picked up these RPMs at the shop and uh, I get an employee discount so I get this stuff pretty darn cheap I think for for the RPM parts to do all my steering links it was like four bucks or something crazy like that but anyways I, I switched to those but they had a lot of play on the the steering linkage balls that are on here you know that we hook them onto what they press on to there was a lot of play and uh, when I got home I was just checking the, the truck out and my front end had so much play from side to side it was ridiculous and I think that was more of the stability issue that I was having. Again, the road was definitely rough. The parking lot, I mean, was definitely rough, but um, not near as smooth as the other side. But I think that all that slack that I had was, was, was the main problem. Um, I've got most of that slack taken out now. Um, the only slack I have now is just within, you know, the bearings. And uh, that's about it. So I may work on that a little bit. Um, I can definitely figure out how to how to tighten up those too. But I honestly don't know if that's necessary or not. But I did have a lot of play. I actually should have shown you guys how much play I had. But that was definitely, like I said, the reason I think I had such stability issues. So. I think I'm just gonna gonna redo the the uh, the half throttle test. Um, I honestly don't think I even got it where it needed to be as far as uh, the full 50 percent. Well, it's technically 60 percent, but it you know I'm saying 50 because that that's half of what I you know normally have it set on. So I mean, a GPS at 30. Um, I think it's got maybe 32, 33 in it. I don't know if it's got any more than that. Maybe. I, honestly, I, I don't know. But I don't think I got a full run out of that. And another thing I want to show you guys. I hope I don't launch the, the truck off the table here. But I have had probably four or five different brushless motors on this truck. I love the CSC, I really do. Um, but when I put the castle motor on there, when you just barely give it throttle, it it does this a lot. And then when you uh, when it goes to move, all that goes away. But when you first start to get on a throttle really easy, like you know, just trying to creep, it does that. So if you hear that in my videos that's that's what's going on it's just what it does um, none of my other brushless motors I, I've had two go RC's and a hobby star uh, they never did that but for some reason this castle does I, I don't know castle supposed to be good stuff but uh, it does that so if you hear that that's why but uh, anyways like I said, I've got most of the slack taken out, so I'm going to try to get a video tomorrow and get a, a better run in, uh, you know, to see exactly where it stands. I, I think it's got two, maybe three more miles per hour in it. I don't know. We'll find out. But, um, you know, and if the video seems kind of long and drug out, I apologize, but I just try to make sure it's 100% legit and there's no bull crap in my videos, so 
I just try to make it legit, guys. But anyways, these are just some afterthoughts after that I just wanted to share. Um, I think the truck's going to be a lot more stable now. So we'll go back out and try it again tomorrow. I'm going to do one more half throttle run. And then uh, we'll try to get a three-quarter throttle run in, too. Uh, I might try to get that done tomorrow, too. And I'm going to take her toy truck. I honestly think I can get 20 miles an hour out of this. Um, that's my goal, and then I'll be I'll be happy with it. For a little toy truck that's got plastic tires on it, uh, 20 mile an hour is pretty respectful. So I'm going to try to get that in, too. But uh, thanks, guys. Have a good night.